Hello there guys, what is going on? Welcome to Pure Trading. This is week number 19. Going to look at a market outlook. What am I going to do this week? Look, it's become more difficult now. This is the dollar index that you're seeing here. We are at a resistance level. This resistance is coming into play here because prices is hit there in 1990s and then again in 2000 and messing around in that area there. 2018, 2020 and now back here in 2022. What are we going to do here? This barrier is just making sh <laughs> I don't know what to do um, I'm gonna have a look at the charts looking at the all the charts the majors for the week here and starting on the euro versus the dollar what am I going to do euro versus the dollar so it's it's, it's a bit more simple here on on the charts because we are Looking at the daily, we have these barriers here in the form of an envelope here. That's my envelope. Prices is protruding, you know, almost above the envelope. When it hits there, I am going to sell the euro. This is going to be uh, one of the best trades for for the week for me. The, everything else seems to be trending. It's a bit more difficult to do that with your envelope, but the euro versus the dollar, if we see prices hitting in the areas here, we see prices hitting in this areas over here, I'll be looking for manipulations there, RSI divergences, and then starting to sell. Now, am I gonna do the same thing at the barriers here, at the support level? The thing is, because we are at these levels here, you know, if I buy here, it means I'm buying the euro, yeah? And then if I go back to what has happened here, or what we can see on the dollar index, we are at this barrier here. Selling here means selling the dollar. And buying here on the euro versus dollar is doing, you know, exactly that. So, because of what we're seeing on the dollar index here, I am going to, I'll be okay with, let's say my risk tolerance here is going to be 1% on on this, yeah, then I am going to sell this here at my full risk tolerance at 1%, and if I am buying, I'll be buying at 0.5%, yeah, just to give you the relative difference there, on, on my risk there, on how bullish I am on the dollar and how bearish I am on, on the dollar, yeah? And then we're going to the next pair here, which is going to be the pound, right? The pound we can see here, this bar is, is quite a surprising one. The reason for that was, um, yeah, there was an interest rate um, hike there. So, but the issue there, there are, nobody's confident there, yeah? the inflation, yeah, nobody's happy there, and that for that reason it goes all the way down. But why, why, why so strongly? Um, yeah, why so strongly? The thing is, if we look at what happened here on the yeah, it looks as if we this is good news here. Yeah, supposed to be good news that there are more um, votes for a rate hike. Yeah, and that's what happened. The rates were 0 0.75 before, and then an interest rate hike means that you are, you know, the currency strengthens, but look, the currency has dropped, yeah? The pound has dropped. What am I going to do? Because it's dropped like 200 and odd points there, I'm gonna try and continue that there, which means I am gonna go and look at that levels there, yeah? So we've already taken out this low, so I want prices to come back up here and then to continue that, or I am going to go even higher up or even better at these relative equal highs here. Yeah? So looking for retracements and then selling. That is the idea for me on the pound. And then the yen, this has also become a bit more difficult here now because buying the dollar here yeah, is also buying the dollar at this highs yeah and you know we don't like to buy at um when things are when the prices are at these resistance levels what the idea is to sell at these resistance sort of levels here yeah and not buy so for this reason 
I don't like trading against the trend here, but if I see that there is some sort of a setup for me um, in these areas here, because we have that, I'll be looking at doing a like half a percent sort of an idea here to, to try and go short there. It's going to be very, very uncomfortable for me because prices are trending and I, I don't like trading against the trend at all. And it's going to be just a natural idea for me to buy it if prices does get below here. Yeah. So I'll try for a sell and a buy. So one is selling it up here if I see a setup during the week or buying it um, when prices has an excursion below the average there and also at these levels over here. Then we have the CAD. The CAD, another thing you, you can see here that we are at resistance levels. We want to be selling it. Now, because we are, we also have that idea here on our dollar index. We have these barriers here. For that reason, I'll be okay with trying to give it a go selling it here. So when am I going to do that? I'll do that when prices hits the levels here. These are the levels here. Yeah, if prices gets up there, I'll be looking at uh, selling it. The reason I won't be selling um, right when the, you know, as the week opens on Monday is because of this year. Yeah, prices has come up here before. Prices has come up here before and it's already given me some points there. Yeah, it goes all the way back up again. And then the, this is, um, it would be a trend, yeah, if it could take that high out and then it come back down and then go up again but that just makes the whole thing very complicated so what i'm going to be doing here is i'm going to give it a go at this levels here yeah giving it a sell because there will be an extension beyond the mean at that point and also i'll be playing against this level here and the other reason i'll be selling it is because of the dollar index here being at these resistance levels there yeah so this is a good level to 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 sell the dollar um just because of levels but we're gonna have to look at the fundamental and see what's what's going on yeah, during the week the sentiment and things like that then the australian dollar for this one it's just again going down for me so it's going to be difficult to to actually buy here what i'll be doing is looking at the where prices are this is a uh, Friday's close this year is last week's lows so I'll be looking for prices to come down take out these lows then go back up again and then trend trade it down the same would go here for the New Zealand dollar however the New Zealand dollar is equal low so it would be good to get rid of this low year first the same as with the Australian dollar so it's getting rid of this low year and then for prices to retrace and then to carry on down and then looking at the higher time frames like weekly time frames to see where we could look for um, moves up again yeah yeah so it this week the technical doesn't look that easy so we're gonna have to see what happens during the week what the price action is going to give us on monday and tuesday that's very important and then wednesday we can um, probably decide on a proper direction there most importantly guys is to trade safely and prosper